Oh. Right, this fish is really pissed off. Hopefully it's a fawny and I get it in. If it's a conger, I'm not sure I'll get it in. And there you go, everyone. There's a beautiful form back ray here on the mighty Bristol Channel. How you doing, everyone? Before I start this video, it's just a little shout out for all the support you've given me recently on my YouTube channel and across my socials. Please do me a favor back. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I promise you it will cost you nothing and it helps me out massively. Cheers, everyone. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm out this evening with my 15 year old. You know the one, arms, legs, smells a bit, hair everywhere. So look, here we go anyway. Well, welcome back everyone. He's Finley, I'm Wayne. This is the Bristol Channel. How you doing everyone? It's Wayne here. Welcome back to the Shore Hunter YouTube channel. In this session, well, sessions, I take us out for two sessions on the Bristol Channel. As you can see now, I'm fishing in the daylight on my own. And I also took my lad out last week with me for some old fashioned punishment. He'd been misbehaving a little bit, so I took him out fishing in the rain. So if you like your fishing videos, then this one is definitely for you. As I've said, we've got two sessions in one where I'm gonna drop in to the day session and drop out to the night session because unfortunately I lost the introduction on the day session due to a technical fault, but I caught a few fish. So I hope you enjoy these two videos. Thanks again for your support. You know how much I appreciate it and I hope you enjoy this one. Look at that. Look at that beautiful bait. Got blow lug on the top and ragworm on the bottom. This winter sun is wicked. As you know, it's low in the sky this time of year. It's reflecting off the water from behind my van, straight in the face. If I look around my van, it's pretty bright. Probably got about an hour and a half to two hours of daylight. The best time for me for filming, as you know. But I've got my lights, I've got my headlamp. We'll light it up and try and make you a nice video. How you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome. You don't even know where I am. It's pitch black and winter is definitely here. I hate filming this time of year, as you know, because like a lot of you, or hopefully all of you, I've been at work today and I've got a special guest. Hi. This is my son, Finley. He's been mentioned before in the videos about being 15, stinky, long arms and long legs. Is that you? No, I'm small. He's small. He's actually in a little bit of trouble. Nothing too bad, it's just been a little bit naughty. So he gets a treat out with his dad to go fishing and not spend the night on the computer, hey? How you doing? I'm on my own now. I threw him in already. No, I haven't really. I'm going to show you my rigs. Right, as you know by now, I hate filming at night, but in the winter, naturally, I'm going to have to from time to time. So it's just gone half past six, high water tonight is five past nine, and we'll probably fish till about quarter past 10. So we've got about three, three and a half hours fishing, and we've definitely got a chance. My first rig this evening is a five foot pulley. We know all about this by now. And all I've done is mounted a whole Joey mackerel to try and get Finley a nice conger eel. What I'm gonna do now is check this out. When I bring you back, we'll have all three rods in the water. All I'm gonna be doing tonight is using big fish baits to try and get a form back ray, maybe a nice conger, a bass, or if we're very lucky, a cod. There's not many around this year, but if you get one in the Bristol Channel, it could be a double figured one and they are definitely taking squid. As you can see, or hopefully you can see, I've sorted out the three rods, obviously. Finley just gets told when he gets a bite, don't you Finn? Finley, you got a bite. Okay, Dad. Anyway, it's the joys of being a parent, and I'm very lucky. 
I don't know what to do with myself tonight. I've got a friend at last. Well, sometimes he's a friend. I know jokes aside, he's been a good boy. He's just 15, sleeping in, playing the computer too much. So his punishment is to come out fishing with his dad. I think he's doing all right. But yeah, what we're gonna do is keep fishing. It's two hours before high. First cast, as I tell you all the time, when you cast out, you're probably casting into probably two or three foot of water at most. The first cast is crucial for a fish, top of the tide for a conga, last cast as well, as we've done before. But you have to pop the lead out. Remember, we've done that before. First cast, probably straight into the mud. You have to pop it out, a couple of pulls, and then reset the rods. As you can see on the flood tide up here, it doesn't really pull that hard. Normally, the first hour of the ebb, the flooding tide out. That didn't make sense. The first part of the ebb, I'll say that again, which is the tide going out. What I was meant to say is flooding down from the River Severn, but that's like all backwards. Um, yeah, anyway, I don't know what I'm on about. I think you do, but yeah. When the tide turns, it's gonna pull like a train. We've got mackerel on Finley's rod, the competition match with the fixed ball. I've got double squid on my middle rod and a single joey on my left hand rod, probably 20, 30 yards out, maybe for a bass. But as we know, and as we've done before, what we are stood on is a feature and the fish will be active at the bottom of the rocks. Yeah, it's beautiful. Right, we can chill out now. That's all the boring stuff done. The rigs, the casting, where we are, what we're up to. Now we can do some fishing. Yeah, I was just thinking back. The last time I filmed here for you, I hooked a seal while hang fishing. Remember that? I didn't actually hook it. I hooked a bass on a rig similar to what I'm using now and the seal took the bass. Luckily, it just had it in his and then he said hands, they don't have hands, and it's pools, pools, flippers, fins, you know what I mean, the things at the front, munching on it. As soon as it seen me, it cleared off with it. Great fight on a competition nagger, but not what you need. Hopefully today I get left alone. But what I'm gonna do now is drop this one out. I should have enough water now. Probably going to cast this one about 70, 80 yards. A straight forward over the head. Flick. Oh, not bad. Actually, that went quite far. <laughs> I must be a natural. We're fishing. So this evening we've got 11.7 metre tide on the watch it scale, which could come up over the wall. So it's a big one. Definitely gonna have enough water to catch a fish or two. Have I got the skill? Oh, I don't know. We've got a chance. As I mentioned earlier, what I'm gonna do is fish with worm baits to the top of the tide, so I've got about two hours. Fish for a sole and a bass and a codling mainly. I think worm baits are gonna get me the better stamp of fish. If I struggle, I'll switch it up and put some squid on over high to try and target a formback ray or maybe a conga eel, but I'm gonna try and stay away from that. I'm gonna try and catch a codling, maybe a bass, or if we're very lucky, a sole. And if we get a sole off here, it'd be like a skateboard, probably two or maybe three pound. It's freezing in the shade, but beautiful here in the sun. So I'm gonna sit over here, bask on a rock, Get my nuts out, warm them up. No, I'm joking. You're not allowed to do that, by the way. 
very bad, especially if you're driving a bus. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know where that come from yet again. Remarkable. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now bite then. Are you on the camera? Let me have a look. I mean, are you on the rod? I'm not on me. I think I just had a bite then. Oh, you're on the rods. The left hand rod done something. Let's leave you live. Yeah, I just looked up and the rod came back. No, it's just a wind. What I like to do on the rod that I've cast 20, 30 yards is let a bit of line out. I want my bait hard on the deck. Just let a bit out there as well. Ooh. There you go. Be nice to catch a nice codlin or a bass. We could have a fish. Yeah, we've got a fish here. Not sure what it is. Probably a little strap, I reckon. Oh no. It is, it's gonna ruin my rig. I know that for sure. Oh no, he hasn't. I know we are. We're not blanking. We're on the eels and he's not hammered my rig. Right, let's sort this fish out. Right, so some of you might have seen Finley before. Mm. Yeah? E maybe. Have you been on YouTube before? Yeah, one time. Who was that with? Um, Luke. And the Outdoor Boys. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you know at home, I was probably filming for about a month, that's all. I had about 300 subscribers and I'd done about four videos and I had an email from the Outdoor Boys, Luke in Alaska. And if I'm being honest, I didn't even know who they were. Yeah, you thought it was some scammer. I thought it was a scam, didn't yeah. I? So now I spoke to Finley. I was actually working a trade show for Tronics Pro and I said to Finley, who are the Outdoor Boys? He's like, what do you say? They're sick. That's yeah. what you're saying, yeah. you say. Well, I just said, uh, he makes really cool videos and I enjoy them. Yeah, and um, so we went out with Luke, believe it or not, and I was super nervous. I'd only been filming for sort of six weeks, hadn't I? Yeah, around that time. Uh, so I took Finley for a bit of support and you wanted to meet Luke. Oh yeah, I really wanted to meet him. And we went out on Chesil Beach. So if you've not checked out the outdoor boys, check it out when he's done his British tour and me and Finley's on there, we're the first part of the video, aren't we? Yeah. And the catfishing carp, we've done two videos with Luke and he's just absolutely awesome. I do email Luke from time to time and we are planning for Finley and I to go over to Alaska and go out again with the outdoor boys, which would be just... So I pretty much think all of you know who they are, but if not, check them out. Since we went out with Luke, his channel had about 2 million subs when we went out yeah. and now it's like four or five. And on TikTok and Insta, oh, yeah. well, he is absolutely is. massive. So check it out. He doesn't need my help, but he's our friend. So yeah, that's the first time you were on camera. It was. And this, the this is the second time. It's a little bit different here. It is a little bit different. Yeah, I'm not like eight foot. <laughs> and then obviously Luke's from America and they're yeah. a little bit different to us. Not everyone, I'm not stereotyping, but he's super loud yeah. and just crazy, isn't he? Yeah, that's what, I mean, that's what people love about him. Yeah, he's just and a great. And he is, he's really kind. He's a real nice guy and he, um, yeah, he spent nice. time talking to Finley and he spoke to us. I'm not talking out of line because he spoke about it in his videos. In lockdown, he was an attorney, so a solicitor, and he ran a big company. And they lost, obviously, like most companies, they lost all their finances and all their work. So instead of getting rid of everyone in the office, he took redundancy himself and went out doing YouTube. 
So not only did he save everyone's job, he went out doing YouTube and now he's absolutely massive. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's a good guy. But that's where you may have seen Finley before. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to YouTube. Thank you. You're doing well. I'm sorry it's not the same. We're yeah, not staying in posh hotels with cameramen everywhere <laughs> or camera lady, camera everyone, whatever they're called. And uh, we're just here fishing on the Bristol Channel. But what we're going to do is we're going to keep fishing. We're going to have a good time. You're going to move your hair back. Like that, look. You've got eyes. And when we get into the action, we'll bring you back. Welcome along, Finley. It's a privilege to have you out fishing with us. Yes. Cheers, everyone. It's absolutely beautiful tonight. Yeah, it is. Not a breath of wind? Mm. No, yeah, compared really. to normal. Yeah. <laughs> Finley doesn't come out of me normally, as you know. This is absolutely perfect. Do you? Not really. You don't leave your bedroom. Well, yeah, not really, actually. <laughs> yeah. Only for school. He goes to school. No. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. That's another subject. Mm. We won't get into that today. No, we won't. But yeah, we're going to keep fishing. We're having a good time. Um, how long have we been fishing for now? About 20 minutes? Uh, Half hour? I'd say we've got like an hour ago, I swear. No, but with baits in the water. Oh, yeah, probably about half an hour now. So what I'll do is give it about 10 minutes. We've put two big joey baits out and a double squid. They'll be absolutely fine out there and I like to soak it for a while. What I'm going to do in a minute, about half an hour before high, is change the baits again, get them out there and hopefully we can catch a conger eel over the top of the tide. As I've told you before, the shape of the conger eel, they don't really like the tide that much in the Bristol Channel. At low water and high water is the best time to target a conger eel in the Bristol Channel. Hi everyone, just a quick message really for the people that message me and ask about coaching. As you can see, I'm out filming for you twice a week, so that's two days, and it's two days editing, and then I've got to work either side of it. So unfortunately, I'm not getting any time to get out coaching. Every now and again, I put a little post up and I say, get at me for coaching days and I just don't get the time. I take a few close friends out and a few people that I've been out with before, but unfortunately at the moment, I've got no time with my commitments to Tronics Pro and all my filming to get out coaching, I'm afraid. So please don't waste your time sending me emails. I don't ignore them. I try and get back to you the best I can, but I'm just not getting no time to get out coaching. Just carry on watching the videos. I try my very hardest to put everything in the videos, as you know, to help you out, to get you out fishing. If I get time in the new year, I would definitely let you know. But thanks for all your messages and your emails. Unfortunately, I am not coaching. And actually, I think my license has just run out because I've got an email. I will pay again and join back up as a coach. But for now, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm not getting the time. I'm just out doing this for you instead. Come on then. It's like walking a dog. Hill. <laughs> Come on. Do you need to go out for a wee? Anyway, so this is Finley. All right, mate? Yeah. Yeah, you all good? Yeah. Do you, do little you, bit chilly. Little bit cold. I said you get a bit cold. Ah, it's just my toes, yeah. Yeah. He's been doing the classic running up and down, hasn't he? Yeah, it didn't work. It does work. Run further, but yeah, how are you finding it? All right, yeah, it's been a bit, a bit quiet, beautiful. it's nice and peaceful, yeah, yeah nice uh, and calm. apart from Bristol Airport. <laughs> oh, yeah, but we haven't had too many planes. No, it's been okay, it's just nice and peaceful. It's nice to have you out. You do enjoy fishing, yeah, just like I said, not having it too long. Yeah, I tend to go for as you know at home, if you get out fishing, I normally go for about 12 hours. That's a little bit long for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit too long. I normally get tired by then. Yeah, so we're out fishing. We've been fishing for about an hour now. Um, we're about 40 minutes from high water. We're keeping the baits going in. And we're trying, but it's been a bit slow. <laughs> well, I've had no indication. <laughs> no bites. But, that's fishing. It's nice to be out. It's not raining. It's not windy. What more can we ask for, mate? A few bites? Yeah. Yeah. And warmth. And warmth, yeah. Anyway, we'll keep fishing, everyone. 
we're absolutely fine, but winter is definitely on the way. I can smell the cod. Well, I can't really. <laughs> right, I've been slat lined on the right one. There's a fish on there. Yeah, there's a fish there. Looks a bit illy. Look at that full moon. Beautiful, eh? Oh, I missed it. Ah. I'll put it back down. Might come back. Slatline me properly. Plenty of bites. Oh, that's fine. That's the joy of using smaller hooks. Look at that moon. I don't really like the moon along, well, not like personally. Oy. Along the south coast or fishing clear water, I hate it. But here it's fine. Can't believe I missed that. Did you see that? Oh my God. Can't believe it, mate. Right, I'm going to check the bait on this one. Got stripped. Slat like me, pulled down, kept going. The trouble is we're right on high water. I've told you this before. When you've got no tide, it's hard to hook fish. Less resistance. The fish can pick up your bait and put it down, pick it up, put it back. When you've got tide, it's easier to hook fish. Oh yeah, the rag. Right, I'll keep fishing, I'll keep trying. Right and cue, my left arm rod. Just pulled down, just on high water, so I'm not gonna... Oh, there's definitely a fish there. I'm just gonna let this one develop. Still there. Looks like a conga to me. Right, fish is still there. leaving it this time. I've got two hooks. I think this is... There you go. There you go, slackening off. See it coming back. Nice and gentle. Wow, after all that, must be a little white in. Messing around with it. You've seen the bite, it was a good bite. Broke my lead out. Oh wow. Beautiful, eh? Plenty of water now. Got to be in with a chance. You know? Check my baits. They're on the ragworm again. Welcome back everyone. As you can see, Finley and I are still here. Trying hard. It's raining now. Yeah. Just what we wanted. Finley's got cold feet. Yeah? Yeah, but uh. they are actually starting to get a little bit warm. Yeah when, yeah, when the clouds come over, I know it's raining, but it's warmed up a little bit. So, I've just brought your rod in. You had a mackerel out before. Yeah. What are you going to try now? 
squid. Going for a squid. So I'm going to ask Finley now in front of you, do you want me to drop it in for a bass, 30, 40 yards out, or do you want to go out long for a ray or maybe a conga? Screw it. What do you want to do? In close? Nah. Out? Yeah, out. There you go. <laughs> Anyway, all right, well, that's what we're going to do. So Finley wants me to put it long. Do you like it long? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, He's 15. Okay. Anyway, let's do some fishing. See you in a bit, everyone. So believe it or not, we're just sat there listening to a podcast of Theo Vaughn and Dana White, and Finley's rod is just smashed over in the rest. Hey, eh, Finley? Yeah. So what I want you to do is pick the rod up. Okay, go back up to where you wound it in, and I'm going to bring the camera with me. Go up there. Get up on there, keep winding, don't let it go slack. Yeah, yeah wind as you walk. Kind of yeah, you, right. Right, now get up on there. Tighten up the ratchet on top. Tighten it up. Yeah. Keep yeah. your rod up high. Yeah. No, the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Day one, everyone. Yeah, but I find it <laughs> Right, so all I want you to do is pick the rod up. Right, right, keep winding. Get that fish up. Sorry everyone if I blind you. Let's take you down. Got a fish on? Yeah. Keep winding, just don't stop. Oh. Tight, tight. Yeah, you let line out and it unhooked it in the water. It don't matter, it's not your fault. Oh. Yeah, it's not your fault, it doesn't matter. No. You don't know. Yeah, I, did, I did it right. You undone it, mate. Anyway, it's all right. Finley let the drag off, it's not his fault. Give it slack line and it got away. It's not the end of the world, is it? Mm. It's just fishing. Yeah, Hopefully it comes back. Anyway, we're gonna keep fishing everyone. It's raining, we've had our first bite and you messed it up. Yeah, I know. It's not, it's not his fault, it's mine. So what I asked Finley to do is pick the rod up, lean into it and tighten up his drag. It's my fault. What he done is lent into it and let the drag off. So it just gave the fish massive slack line and unhooked it in the water, eh? Yeah. You won't do that again, will you? No. <laughs> but hey, that's what it's all about, eh? That's how we learn. Um, yeah, it's my fault. I should have I should have done it for him. I should have picked the rod up, hit it, and then gave him the rod. But you are 15. Yeah, um, Yeah, but it's fishing, so it's... Yeah. You know. You're doing all right? Yeah. It's not catching, it's called fishing. But yeah. And now it's raining. But yeah, we're gonna keep fishing, we're gonna get wet, and hopefully we can get you another fish. Yeah, hopefully. Did it feed a good fish? Was it powerful? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a ray. Could have been a big cod. I'm not saying nothing though, but it was a big bang, bang, slack. Anyway, that's fishing, the one that got away. Yeah. You having a good time? Yeah. Yeah? You sure? <laughs> yeah, just so. You royally messed up, and now it's raining. It's not your fault though, mate. Ask everyone at home. They can't really reply, but they'll all be sat at home going, you only learn from your mistakes, yeah, and that's how we become a better angler. I'm pleased I didn't pick the rod up and strike for you and do all that. You've got to learn to do it yourself, haven't you? You know, on reflection, I keep thinking, oh, I should have set the hook, and, yeah. but now you know. I've just shown him left to right, righty tighty, and he's gone, yeah, yeah. Oh no, what do you say? Well, nah, I did right, but I did, I did right to left. <laughs> so. Yeah. Almost. It doesn't matter, mate. It's only fishing. Yeah, I know, it's fine. I'm learning, you know? Yeah, we've got to spend some time together. Right. Yeah, it's fine. We all mess up. Yeah. Whoa. Easy, Hang on. That rod's just come flying over. Right. Here we go, right on cue. Sorry everyone, it's absolutely hammering down and this rod has just come right up. Yeah. Oh. Might just be the tide. No, it's fine, it's because it's not in the cup. As I've got three rods on the rest. Just come across. Right. Yeah, I know, yeah. So it's just gone high water. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's pulling from right to left now. We've definitely got a chance of a fish. This, for me, is the best time to get into a fish. We're going to carry on getting wet, I should imagine. Yep. 
We're going to keep fishing. I've got some baits ready on the floor. We'll have one more cast because we've got about an hour left. Finley's had the only bite. It doesn't really matter. We're just out fishing. We're not bothering anyone, are we? No. Well, probably. Fish? Yeah, we're trying to. We've not harmed any fish. And it's raining. How are you finding it, Finn? Nice weather? Yeah. <laughs> are you going to misbehave again? No. <laughs> Look at this, everyone. We're getting a right going over. Twenty-five <laughs> percent chance of a light shower. Oh, it stopped. Look at that. Come on, fish. We're trying, everyone. We're putting in the effort, aren't we, Finn? Yeah. We're huddled up under a bait towel. Let's walk forward and show everyone. Great. Come on, Come on, <laughs> like, right. like hillbillies. Oh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> God, see. Hi, everyone. I hope you're keeping up, and I hope you understand, and I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a final cast of my day session, but it's now dark, so I didn't want it to confuse you. So what I've done now, as planned, switched it up, put squid baits on the bottom hook and rag and lug cocktails on the top. Try and save the day with a form back. But I've had a few... Right then everyone, it's about an hour, hour and a quarter after high. And as explained, I've put squid on the bottom hook on both and my right hand rod is just pulled right down. Look at that, there's a fish. Hopefully, it's a form back ray. As you can see, it's freezing. Sorry, I turned my headlamp off. You've got to remember, this is the end of October, not December. This is right up for a Christmas video. I'm absolutely froze. <laughs> but we've got a bite. What I'm gonna do now is pick the rod up. I'm gonna to move to the right. I'm gonna try not to blind you, and I'm gonna have a look at this. It's been there for a while. As you know, I'm using single hooks, so I need to take my time, but hopefully it's a form back ray, and hopefully I've hooked it. Let's see, shall we? It's been well quiet. I've not had a bite for about an hour and a half. Let's put my bright light on. This could have crossed but we'll play it by ear. Right. Definitely a fish on. Right, yeah, I think I could have a form back ray here, everyone. Right, I've got size one hook, so I'm gonna take my time. Yeah, there's a fish there. Oh no, it could be a big conger. I may get bit off here. Whatever it is, doesn't like coming in. So what I'm going to do is position the camera. This fish is definitely hooked. I'm going to light it up to try and make your viewing the best I can. This could be a good fish and this could make the trip. I'll try not to blind you. Yeah, I can feel my other line. Fish is still on for now. Still got plenty of water. Come on. Yeah, I've got my other line definitely, because I'm on my own, I'm pretty screwed here, if I'm being honest. I've got leader. Oh yeah, I've got a 40. Yeah, it's not very happy either. Hang on. Well, I'm gonna walk this back. I'll try not to blind you. And there you go, everyone. There's a beautiful form back ray here on the mighty Bristol Channel. What a nice little session we had. And it went to plan. As I said, after high, I wanted to mix it up, put a little bit of squid on, and that is the result. A lovely form back ray, probably near on 10 pound, that one. She's bad, she's big, and she's a little bit grumpy. So what I'm gonna do, 
I'm going to get a straight back. But thanks, Mrs. Formback. Absolutely stunning. And cheers. Yeah, we got a little bit wet. But we come out fishing. We tried. We have one bite. We won't mention that. Yeah. Um, yeah we got absolutely Ooh. soaked. We used a towel as like a shelter. Yeah. But it we a little bit, but we've done it a bit too late. We've done all right, haven't we? Yeah. We've had a nice time. Finley's keen to go again. Yeah. He said, next time, can we go to those places where you go where you fish out the van? He's already a lazy angler. <laughs> but yeah, next time, I'll take him maybe to Blue Anchor or somewhere like that where I can fish straight out of the van.